Welcome back to my show. I'm the Beard Venture. And it's Mike from Let's Talk About Reaper. And today we've got one from Louisville, Kentucky. This is the Fall City's Beers Premium Pilsner. That can, can already looks like the Cannonball Run. I'm, for real. Um, I'm feeling a serious Burt Reynolds vibe right now. Now, one thing that I like is when they just dispense with all the cutesy names and everything, and they're just like, Premium Pilsner. That, that's it. Because this is the company that brought you Hipster Repellent. Oh. Which I bought that beer just because of that. I want to see the can. Um, it's changed. It used to be much better. The old <laughs> one, it had the guy with like the beanie on the back of his head, and there, oh, it was it was classic back then. But it's actually a good beer too. Okay, now this one's in cans. I love that. It smells like Jerry Clower. Oh yeah. <laughs> Is that the right name? Is it Clower or is it Reed? Well, Jerry Reed and Jerry Clower. Jerry Clower was the comedian. Jerry Reed was the musician that... Uh, Whichever one was in uh, Cannonball Run. That was Jerry Reed. There we go. I was close. I got the Jerry part. Right. right. Jerry Curl. Okay. That smells like something. That smells like 1972. thought it kind of smelled like Dawn dishwashing liquid. <laughs> Maybe that's the glass. That's entirely possible. <laughs> Ooh, I mean, that's got like the nice granddad taste. You've tasted your granddad? No, the beer's your granddad drank. You've watched some <laughs> of our videos. I've never had a living grandfather. I didn't get the reference. Oh, man, that's a shame. You didn't sneak your beers when you were like seven. <laughs> Here, just drink this. This is my first beer. Which is really <laughs> ironic if this is the second video you've seen of me drinking a beer. Exactly. So when I was a kid, my grandfather drank Schlitz. And I remember that being just like this full-flavored kind of malty beer. And that's kind of, this one's got, but this one's got the definite crispness. You know, I've never had Schlitz, but I remember the old commercials where my people, my people, were chased by bulls just to get beer. Okay, that was Schlitz malt liquor. <laughs> Schlitz and Schlitz malt liquor are two different things. You learn something, the more you know. Hey, by the way, I have a malt liquor playlist. I love malt liquor. I'm trying not to ruin the camera right now. <laughs> I grew up in the hood. <laughs> I don't know why I keep drinking this. I'm already, I've already got like some opinions being formed. Uh, it's not bad, but it, it's not, it's not bad. Okay, this is what I, this is what I, okay, I'm that guy that's drank everything from the worst beer to the white whale Sam Adam Utopias, the, the shit that's like two hundred dollars for like ten ounces. This is not that. No. But here's the thing. There's a lot to be said for the I just mowed the yard and I'm gonna drink two beers. <laughs> and this is again, this is not bad, but it reminds me this a is lot a of day some of the beers that I've seen on the West Coast. It's literally just like in a white can that has in army stencil letters beer. Yeah. I saw one. I saw the one this weekend that says "Garage Beer." Wait for that one to come out. I've had one that says "Emergency Drinking Beer." One recently that just said "Regular Beer." It, this is just strange. It's, it's like I the, like that. It's like the train wreck that you you don't want to watch, but you can't take your eyes off of. I keep taking more of this to see if I can formulate a proper opinion, and I just can't decide if I like it or not. I do. It's just there. Well, my thing is is it has a crispness, but there's there's a good malt. There's a good malt bill in this. It is not, um, it's not hoppy. So if you're like, oh, I don't like IPAs, you're fucking you golden on this. You don't have to worry about that. There's a lot of people, there's, there's, there's a lot of people that are doing the pushback for the fruit flavored and all that, the flavored beers. That's not in here either. There's nothing. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, like that's Lunchbox says, is... if you need fruit in your beer, you needed a different beer. Now, I'm not always that way. There's some fruit beers that I like, but just as far as like, Beer flavored beer? They hit the <laughs> fucking nail on the head on this. This is like the never ending story. It's the all consuming nothing. It tastes like nothing. It's just there. It's but you not, keep it's drinking not bad, it. It's not good, and I can't make a decision. But you keep drinking it, and that's the important thing. That's one of the things that I say is one of the most important things about the beer. Do I just keep taking another drink? Because I've had so many beers that were high rated that I took like two drinks and I'm like, oh, fuck, do I really want to finish this? This is more like just, I don't want to throw money away, so I'm going to finish it. I don't know. I kind of dig it. <laughs> I mean, it reminds me of like those 
old school beers. There's, but here's here's one thing about these this type of beer, and I've said this many times on my show. I mean, I've got 800 plus videos. There's a lot to be said about a simple beer because you can't make mistakes. The mistake was leaving a lot of flavor out of this beer. <laughs> Mistakes were made. But you don't you don't like really. But hoppy I'm still beer. drinking it. But you don't like really hoppy beers. This does not make me hoppy at all. No, but. <laughs> But I, I keep going back to the fact that I keep drinking it. It's, it's I don't like, know. oh, God, this milk is sour. Try this. You just <laughs> I want to jump into Trans Am and make it to Texarkana and get, you know, you know, hey, I really like some clam chowder. I do you know, have these bound and down going. I'm just saying, you know, it's not bad. It's not spectacular. And... But that's what I like about it. They didn't go crazy. You can't make any mistakes because you'd have to cover it up with hops or, you know, mango or something like that. No, they just made a beer that tastes like beer. Here, drink it. <laughs> I like it. it. It does taste like the 70s. It's like I can almost taste the chest medallion. Yeah. Just a... A, a Which polyester is, shirt with with collar out to your shoulders. It's very disturbing that it triggers your, that what, kind your of girl, your hair's growing out. Just, <laughs> yeah, um, I I don't know. I think this definitely has a place in beer culture. Uh, unfortunately, I think that this is the market like PBR. <laughs> but I bet PBR costs less, so... And pr may even taste better. I don't know. Admittedly, I've not had a PBR with the exception of their coffee or whatever it was, which was surprisingly good. Yeah, they don't make those anymore, unfortunately. Probably because I liked it. Yeah. Mm. Um, but overall, I like it. I think it tastes good. I like that taste. It reminds me of my youth. Yeah, um... I was raised in a Navy household that was Irish and Scottish. So it was like, hey, you want to try this beer? Yeah. And they tr thought I would take a drink and be like, ugh. Nope, I liked it. So then every now and then my dad's like, here you go. You have to, you know. Hell, I didn't get drunk until I was like 19, but um, I drank beer since I was a little kid. Whatever. TMI. Uh, well, if you guys are enjoying this video, and I hope you are, Hit the like button, lets me know you care, and it also shows YouTube that this video was fun. Uh, we hope that you enjoy it. Uh, go ahead, subs subscribe, uh, consider, ring the bell. You'll get three videos a week. Um, I'll see what I can find from this brewery to put down there in the description. You'll also find all my links, my social media, my merch store. Hey, get a t-shirt, I designed this. That's what right. so. Yeah. You guys can uh, have stickers, all kinds of stuff. I've got uh, five or six different uh, things in there. Uh, designs. I'm adding a couple more every now and then. Take a few off. Um, tell me what you're looking for. Not this. <laughs> and uh, we'll talk about it down there in the comments. So let's get down to it. Did you dig it? I did. I cannot dig it. Are you at a meh, a no, or yes? Uh, I think it's it's more of a it's just it's there. I am enjoying watching the bubbles. <laughs> You're at a man. Yeah. It, it's okay. It's Mads bad, are okay. It's not good. It's just there. It reminds me of uh, Dave Chappelle's skit. The it'll get you drunk. But if you're in it for flavor and that not... That was the Samuel L. Jackson yep. hugger. Okay. If you're in it for flavor and not for the drunk factor, this you best look elsewhere. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like that. I like that old school flavor. And um, here I am taking another step. Exactly. See? Now, uh... I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> now, would you would you have it again? No. I would. Uh, does it have seekability? I mean, if you asked me to come back on the show and give it a second shot, maybe if you paired it with some kind of food that made it taste better magically... I would, uh, I mean, this this would go great with some Lucky Charms, except it wouldn't. Lucky Charms, I was I was really anticipating like like burgers or chicken or something. It's like Lucky Charms. That, was, that sounds like something you would say you to me saying, while we're testing a watermelon beer. I have one. That's racist. 
All right. Uh, <laughs> so the the seek ability, they're from Kentucky, so you're not going to be able to get it all over the country. Uh, I'm Which not that far from Kentucky. For the good. Well, you know what. <laughs> I mean, if you want to pull uh, Burt Reynolds and get in your Trans Am and drive to Kentucky, sure. I, I got in a Jeep and drove to Kentucky. I'm like, it's just it. a couple of hours, and I, I'm almost regretting the five minutes it took to drive over here and drink this. <laughs> it's not nearly as bad as I'm making it out. It's just not great. It's yeah. it's not spectacular. All right, right. I'm going to have another sip and see if I can solidify that decision. So on a scale of 1 to 10. <laughs> um, we can't do... Do points and we no. can't do negatives. No, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna five a, is average. I'm gonna give it a four. So it's below average. To you. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, admittedly, now for those who don't know, I am relatively new. Despite my age, I'm relatively new to the world of beer. Mm -hmm. I just recently, and if you have to know, I'm 47, and I just recently had my first Bud Light. Um, depending on when you watch this, this may or may not be in the middle of a certain controversy, which has no bearing on this, but. Uh, the Bud Light was better. I don't think so. Mm. I didn't drink Bud Light because I don't enjoy it. I like the regular Red Bud better. I mean, you realize this is not a sponsored video. No, you can no. say whatever you no, want. No, I don't. I, I, I didn't drink Bud Light because I don't it's like It's not good taste. beer. No, Bud Light is not good beer. Wait a minute. You're Bud Light is better. <laughs> well, I give this one um, five is average. This is above average. This is... This is six. You know what? This is probably a seven for me. Now, with these glasses, I do like how the beer, when it's at a certain level, makes this mustache look really cool. Yeah. But it would probably do the same thing with any liquid. Not water. It, well, mm. the water in, like, the south part of our town, it would probably still probably. color it significantly. Well, there you have it, folks. To your next beer adventure. Cheers. Mm. <laughs> See, he keeps drinking it, though. I just want to, like, make sure you got a clean cup when I'm...